But I mm-hmm. tell women, no, have these conversations with men. Let them know, sit down with them. Because if you don't tell them that they won't know, tell them, okay, so my period comes for one month, for one week in a month. I know that you don't want to hear this. I had to say that with my husband. I know you don't want to hear anything about period stuff. We're taught in our culture not to discuss this, but I need you to know what goes on with my body. Okay. So then women, that's when you go and you tell them. So I have these cramps and the cramps are so painful. You can show them the video that, that we just saw here and show them that pain and say, sometimes it feels better if I just lay down. So perhaps we can go out to eat or perhaps we can get, you know, uh, maybe I can cook earlier. So I, I will sometimes cook earlier in the day versus later on at night when I just want to rest. So I think it's on, on the part of the woman to be communicative and share your particular symptoms. Or, hey, my face breaks out during my cycle. Um, Or, you know, I have a little bit extra tenderness on my breast, so don't touch my breast. Or just whatever you're going through. And then, as a partner, the male should be able to bend and flex. So if your woman has the cravings, hopefully she doesn't have too many cravings. But if she does have cravings, buy her, her chocolate. Cook for her. Take her out to eat. Um, So I think it's just understanding your wife's symptoms and Mm -hmm. then providing whatever comfort she needs. Um, I I was part of a panel some months ago talking about periods. Mm -hmm. And my husband usually, you know, sometimes he'll listen to the stuff, sometimes he doesn't. And he came on there and he shared and he contributed. And he said, you know, growing up, I had no idea. You know, my husband's a ballwin. And he said, I had no idea that women even went through this. I had no idea that this was even a thing, that women actually battle things like this. And so being married to my wife, I learned a whole new perspective on something that I, just in my head, in my brain, I just never Mm -hmm. had So that's when I realized that a lot of men are insensitive because they just don't know. This is something Mm -hmm. that's, they're not trained to even think about what this is. So they just need a little bit of education just to say, okay, Today, I, just, I want to go to sleep at, at, at 7 o'clock today. <laughs> you know, so yeah. that's my response. <laughs> All right. No, the, and that is that is important. I, I resonated with a lot of what you were saying. So thank you so much for that. And we're thankful for the question that came through. We just want to say hi to our viewers. Precious, Doreen, Slevy, Edith, thank you all. We are loving having you here. Um, and we'll just... Get move into our questions. We we'll finish off the ones that we have so that we can quickly answer the ones from our our viewers. <clears throat> now, I want to ask quickly: um, Is it normal for the flow to fluctuate in intensity or duration during your cycle? Like this month, you may go for um, four or so days. Next month, you go for seven. Or then another time, you bleed heavier. Another time, you bleed less. What what would be going on there? So all of those will be indicators of your lifestyle for the past couple months. Okay. okay so sometimes with the weather, cycles can change. Um, so mm-hmm. when it's when it's cool outside, you won't bleed as much. But when it's hot outside, you may bleed a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, and in terms of the length of how many days you bleed, like I said, if you're getting to seven days, then there's probably something, some lifestyle or habit that you did um, that was not that great um, for the past for the for the prior months. So, for example, I actually documented this in one of my YouTube videos where. I went on vacation in April, I believe it was April, May. Um, mm-hmm. I went for my anniversary. I went on vacation in May. Was eating anything, um, cake, you give me whatever, I was eating it. And so when June came, the week before my cycle started, I had mm-hmm. bumps everywhere. Um, <laughs> I had menstrual cramps. I mean, just what everyone else typically discusses, I had all of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I attributed that to that vacation that I went to. And I knew I was setting myself up for a, a painful period. And actually, it didn't start on time. It was a little, it was a little late mm-hmm. as well. Um, and so that was very odd for me. I'm usually very, very much on time. So when I say 
when I answer that, I don't want to say that it's normal for that to happen. It's not mm -hmm. ideal for that to happen. Mm -hmm. You need to be very, very consistent in the number of days that you plead. Now, if you're saying I bleed three days versus three and a half days or three days versus four days, that's not a big difference. But if the difference is I bleed four days versus seven days, that's a big difference. Um, so mm -hmm. if you're, however you treat your body, you'll see the end result with your menstrual cycle. If you're depressed, I look at, you know, times of devastation in my life. Like when my brother died or my dad died, my cycle was all, all over the place. So you have to also look at the emotional state of, of your mental health as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, the, whatever you're doing to your body or whatever happens to you, um, whether it's unfortunate or not, then you will see changes in your menstrual cycle. I do mm -hmm. want to add that they have seen in the research that since COVID-19, women are having greater issues with their menstrual cycles. Yeah. And so you see how a change of lifestyle, a change of, of, of life as we know it has significantly altered women's menstrual cycles. They're more irregular. They're more painful. Um, they're, they're serious issues that women are having as a result of their, as the result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. So like you're saying, mental health probably because we're more stressed, you know, and yeah. yeah. So that makes, that makes we're a lot of stress. And then, I mean, I even look at my lifestyle. I spent a year, a year at home working at home. Whereas I used to go out with people. Mm. Um, so the type of food that I ate had changed. Um, I used to just go to the food court and get a salad, but now I'm at home. Everyone's at home. I'm cooking sadza. I'm cooking this. I'm cooking, you know, different. I, I mm. you know, I'm cooking all these different things, three meals a day. Whereas before I used to be busy, maybe I would skip a meal here or there. Or maybe yeah. you know, I'll just grab a, a bar or a piece of fruit. But now I'm at home. I can just cook and cook and cook. And bills, you know, a lot of people lost their jobs. My, my mother lost her job. That's stress. Um, I had a, a few family members that died. My mother-in-law passed away. I mean, that's just in my own personal life. I had that's a lot amazing. of stress. I can't imagine other people, you know, yeah. what other people dealt. I still was able to keep my job. Other people lost their jobs. Other people had no sources of incomes. You know, so it, it was devastating. So, yeah, whatever happens in your life, you'll see that your menstrual cycle is affected. No, definitely. And and I concur. We're also less active, right? We're not I, moving yeah. around as much as before. And I think also for me, it's been, it's been the balance of juggling the work that I do, my kids, you know, and just trying to have a moment. I, I've been saying I, I would like to go on a ship into the middle of nowhere for about a week by myself, just yeah. by myself, because yeah. I need that, you know? Yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> we love our families, yes, but we need time. Yeah, need yeah, especially the ones that have had to homeschool, you know, I, yeah. that is so tough, tough, especially having multiple kids. You know, you have people who have two, three, four, five children that they had to homeschool. That is hard. It is, it is. So I, I completely hear you. Oh, 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 oh,